the first thing she did, she was, we were sitting around the table, she just, her hands flew over her face and she just went down like that, she just about smashed her head on the table, she says, I don't, I'm never going to have a mom anymore. It was just the hardest thing that ever happened. There's another person who is very outspoken and very strong-willed, very caring. She was just different than anybody else I ever met. And we just fell hard for each other right away. Just, she's always just been a very caring, loving mother. Mm -hmm. Her and my son had the strongest bond ever. They were like, she, he, was a, he was a mom's, mom's boy, but, but it's just, it was always about kids. She was always about the kids. Or me, she looked after me just like I was a kid. She, I'd get home from work, she'd make sure I'd have food ready. She was just such a caring, caring person. She was not the person you wanted to mess around with. She, she wouldn't back down from anybody. She was very strong, outspoken. That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was tell them that she was gone. My daughter just broke down so hard. Yeah. My son was born. Keep it all in. He didn't want to, you know, talk about it too much. He still the same way. He doesn't really talk about it. He doesn't. When, just before they started the search at Brady, um, they called us here to talk to us. And uh, the cop that was in charge of, I guess, the search he called me over and he says, uh, we're not going to search the area that you guys wanted us to search. He says, we called an elder and they told us to search over here. He says, but I'm going to tell you right now. He says, after we do the search, that's it. We're not searching no more. It's so frustrating. By that time, I was already so upset and we're just fighting for the search. I'm going to, I'm talking to the media and, and calling the cops out, calling the mayor out. I even put it right out on, on the media. I said, if this was the cops, the police chief's wife or, or the mayor's wife, I said, they would, they would have had the army in there searching already. As far as I'm concerned, they didn't really do anything. They should have consulted with us all together as one, one big group so that we could all have our own input on what we think was the best way to go or the best place to search. Uh, I feel like they went behind our backs and just did what they wanted to do instead of what we wanted. And uh, one of the first meetings we had with them, they actually tried to make Sean Lamb sound like he was uh, hurt and, and, and that he couldn't deal with him, what he did to Tanya. And they, they made him sound like he was a victim, like, they, they, like that he was having a hard time dealing with it for taking her life. Like, I, I, I was so, so angry over that. Like they said, they said, oh, he showed a lot of emotion when he told us about what he did to Tanya and that he really regretted it. Or like they made it sound like it was just almost like it was an accident or something, but it was, it was no accident. They absolutely caused a lot more harm than anything, just without being, with being insensitive and with paying Sean Lamb for a statement, which I thought was totally ridiculous. In terms of searching for Tanya, do you feel like the police made it a priority at all? No, not at all. I, when when she first went missing, their their thing was, well, maybe she's out partying, or maybe she went on vacation with some friends, or they, they just made excuses. Oh, maybe she's this, maybe she's that. But meanwhile, she was already already gone. She was already taken and, and, and murdered. But they, it was like it was nothing to them. Oh, well, you know, give it more time. She was reported missing because she, she always goes home, always went up to her, her, her parents' place. And so they knew something was wrong with no contact, no phone calls. They knew something was wrong. So, but the police just didn't take it seriously. But every single day I go on online, there's new missing people, missing women, children, men, and nothing seems to be done about it. It's just. It's, if anything, it seems to be getting worse. So we have to speak up because who else is going to speak up for us? Our government isn't, our police aren't. Justice would be actually searching landfall. That's that's the biggest step we can make is, is making an effort. And searching landfall that not only would give answers for our family, but for who knows for how many other families. And I was really trying hard to uh, stay sober do good things and live in a good way. 
And one night I had a dream of everything that happened to Tanya. And in the dream, I seen so many horrible things happening to her. And she was, she was screaming for me and asking me to help her. And all I could do was watch and I couldn't do nothing. And I woke up just in complete tears. And after that, I just, I really turned to a lot of numbing milk call drugs, just anything that I didn't have to, it was easier to be so drunk by the end of the night that when I woke up or when I went to sleep, I wouldn't dream, I would just go to sleep and I'd wake up in the morning. One of the things that with people is they need to be a lot more compassionate. What would you do if this was your family member, like your, your, your mother, your sister, your daughter, your wife, how would you feel? Not too many people think about how that how, how it make them feel, or they can't put themselves in that situation. And so, when the people are doing when we do the blockade or or, or protest, and people are so angry because their day's been affected by ten minutes or fifteen minutes, but instead of getting angry, they should be. That's when they should be thinking, like, what if this was my my mother or my wife or my daughter? You know, how would I? How would I deal with it? How would, you know, how, uh, what kind of help would I want? What could I do to help, you know? The last couple of protests there with drivers trying to run people down. Like just no compassion at all. The comment section on any kind of report, it just, I could spend hours, if I, if I look at one, then I'm, I'm just like, quit myself, quit myself to seeing all these awful things and it's, uh, wish you could almost take each one of those people and, and maybe bring them along on a, on, a, on maybe on a gathering let them talk to people say this is this is why we're doing what we're doing this is you know like you could because any of the gatherings we go to you can feel the energy and and you can feel myself I feel a lot of uh, other people's emotions in, in a setting mm -hmm. and so you can feel a lot of the hurt 